Good morning. At least I recommend that this particular video um, be followed in the morning. This is the first of my series of vocal technique videos. And uh, I talked in my introduction about the various models for how to look at the elements of singing and good vocal technique. I didn't mention that First of all, it's very important that we prepare the vocal instrument. We're not like a clarinet that we can take apart, put in a case, put on a shelf, and then get out, put it together, and play the instrument with a little bit of maybe working with the reed and uh, blowing into the instrument. But as we are the actual instrument and the instrumentalist, there are some practices that we can follow to get our instrument ready. We are going to begin with a relaxation series that will prepare the parts of the body that are most used in singing, and that would be the areas that can create some tension that will interfere with excellent, good singing. So this is called water music, and the idea is that you might want to do this in the shower. It's a great way to start the day. Now, I'm not gonna do it in the shower and you're gonna be very glad that I'm not and I'm not gonna put a camera in your shower to make sure that you are doing this every day. But in the past uh, week or so, I was particularly trying to get my voice in shape to do a recording in a couple of days and I went back to doing this and it has really made a difference in how I feel uh, and relaxing some of the tensions. And I'm making this in the time of the COVID-19 quarantining. So in particular, we're all under a little bit of stress. Even if you're not a singer, this is a great way to start the day. So since I'm not in the shower and I'm gonna be doing some massaging, when I actually get ready to do the massaging parts, it's advised that we rub our hands together because that little bit of friction will warm them up and that's a little bit better um, for the areas that we'll be touching and is a good substitute for showering. Um, this water music was prepared by my old friend and teacher, Dr. Thomas Hauser. I have complete permission to share this and I will be posting a document uh, along with this video, which I have permission to do so as I am citing Dr. Thomas Hauser. His workshops were called Explorations in Singing and I had the pleasure of attending those for many years. So he calls these body arias and you perform them daily. Every movement is slow, gentle, and loving. We're not working on breath at the moment, but you can be very aware and experience how it is that you breathe. The recommendation is that you inhale and then you make the movements on the exhalation. So we are going to begin with shoulder preludes. And if you were in the shower, you'd allow the water to flow over you. You'd be aware of your breathing. And now in a slow and gentle action, we're going to let the body release and the spine to lengthen. And then while exhaling, gently float one shoulder back and then release it. So I'm gonna start with my right shoulder It'll look like the left to you, I think. And I'm going to inhale. I'm exhaling with a little bit of sound, with a little hiss, so that you're aware that I'm actually doing it. Because hopefully, uh, as a trained singer, you won't see a lot of movement when I inhale and exhale. So we would do that six times. I'm not going to do this six times. Um, hopefully you will just follow this video and then you will add to the numbers. But let's do it three times. So here we go, inhale.
Next, we're going to do it with the other shoulder. Then we're going to do it in the opposite direction. Float the shoulder forward. Very gently floating it, not pushing it, and doing it on the exhalation. Now on the other side. Then we're gonna float both of the shoulders back. And again, I'm doing these three times. It's advised you do them six times. So both shoulders. And now forward. And you can also then add actual shoulder rolls. So I'll do a few of those. And forward. Wonderful. Now we're gonna do neck overtures. Now this is a massage, so again, I'm gonna warm my hands up, rubbing them together. And uh, we are gonna to continue to breathe while we gently massage the back and the sides of the neck, one side at a time. Now we're gonna do the sides and the back, probably one hand although both hands will work Woo! doesn't that feel good and even just placing your hand on the back maybe both of them doing the back and the sides with my palms and the other side just gentle gentle massages the sides you can use your thumbs but be very careful actually massaging the front because that's where the larynx is and we don't want to put any pressure on that. So mostly stay with the back and the sides. Whoa, that feels really good. So you can do that as long as you want to. I gently turn my head to make sure there's no tensions. Now this next one is tapping toccata and it's a lot of fun. It seems like it's kind of silly, but it's amazing how really relaxing it is. You can do it in a rhythm or you can just do it. However you feel, free form, and it's just a matter of taking your fingers, tapping, tapping, tapping together or separately. Then you can do your face. Chin and jaw are especially good. Again, your neck, staying away from the front of it. Shoulders chest get some nice resonance going there so just a little bit of tapping now we're going to massage again so i'm going to warm up my hands again we're going to start at the temples and then move down the jaw so just a gentle massage anyone who does a lot of singing knows that jaw is where all of our tension goes even if you're not a singer if you're under a lot of stress you may find overnight that you uh, are clenching your jaw that's very common and you wake up with a headache a tension headache i am very prone to that so doing this kind of massage temples on down and then we can actually take our fingers and our thumbs and kind of Bring the jaw down, directly down. Let it release, but let your hands kind of help. Notice I'm placing my tongue right against the bottom of 
the back of my bottom teeth, and this is a, an important part for singing posture eventually, but for now, let the tongue go along with the jaw movement. No side to side, just straight down. Find that jaw hinge and release it. And finally, the one that is really helpful to me, it's surprising how much tension can be created. And when you're singing, it can really impact and create more tension in the jaw and the tongue. And that is that we're going to do head turn symphonies, turning our heads from side to side. I'm going to start going to my right, I'm going to turn my head to the side, and then sustain it there for six counts, and then release and allow the head to return to center. And I'm gonna inhale on the movement. I'm also going to inhale and exhale while I am holding the six counts. So it's gonna go like this. So I took three inhalations in all before the first movement to the right while I was sustaining, so it probably sustained a little more than six counts, but I took a breath and then sustained six counts, took another breath and returned to center. So let's do that three times. Ready, inhale. And then to the other side, which is where I seem to get a lot of tension in the left side of my neck. Three times. And there you have it. Here's some water wisdom. Always move during exhalation using small, gentle motions. And again, if you're not able to do this in water, which is the preferable method, make sure to warm your hands by rubbing them together before starting the massage portions. And we all know we should be drinking water six to eight glasses a day and if you drink coffee and i do then we must remember to replenish the water that we lose through the diuresis caused by caffeine and drink a little bit extra so definitely six to eight glasses of water a day there's your water music and your water wisdom so enjoy these stress release a great way to get all of this upper mechanism, anything that might impact the very delicate mechanism in your neck, your larynx, your vocal folds, and then the things like the tongue and the jaw, the neck and the shoulders, which are the areas where we seem to create tension. 
Happy water music and enjoy.